three guys, all with a crazy sense of humour, put them together and you've got one very funny game and one very confused lady. She had no idea of what was going on or who to choose. Remember the contestants? Number one was a coffee and tea merchant, Andy Forsyth. Number two, a draftsman, Ivan Misiarkos. And number three, a would-be actor, Ross Thomas. Now, the fun started when I said hello and welcome. Hello. 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 <laughs> My God, it's Larry Curley and Mo. <laughs> number one, tell us about yourself. Hi, Greg. Uh, I'm a coffee and tea merchant. Yes, we established that. What, what does a coffee and tea merchant do in his spare time? Ah, uh, he mucks about a bit. <laughs> What's your dream in life? I got a... I have a dream! <laughs> I have a dream! Of only a cafe and directing films. <laughs> to be a leading coffee and tea merchant. <laughs> Number two, what's your dream in life? Well, my dream is to take all the hippopotamus across the Nullabar Plain. <laughs> That's it? That's it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Number three, what's your dream in life? A twosome with Debbie Newsome. <laughs> How can you top that, Greg? Our next lovely single, What's in Advertising, is a qualified dance and aerobic instructor, Lauren Bryant. <laughs> Lauren, back there you had headphones on and heard none of what these fellas uh, said. No. So please now tell us about yourself. Well, I work for an advertising agency, which is Sadler and Hennessy, mm -hmm. by day, and I teach aerobics by night. Oh, you're into the aerobics. A fitness lady. Mm -hmm. Three fit fellas over here. Please have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Lauren, they're fit and raring to go yes. by the look of it. Heaven forbid. Please ask your first question to contestant number one. Contestant number one, if you were to send a greeting card to an ex-girlfriend, what inscription would you write on it? What How on it? <clears throat> howdy <Thanks>. beautiful <laughs> sorry i would say howdy beautiful what's happening i thought that's really what number two might have said but still <laughs> what would you write number two paris marvelous don't forget to feed the butchery guard <laughs> <laughs> Number three, uh, if you were to send a greeting card to an ex-girlfriend, what inscription would you want on it? Did you receive my letter bomb? <laughs> Sorry, you want to add to that, do you? But if you didn't, this card will self-destruct in ten seconds. I see. <laughs> Lauren. I don't think I'd really like a letter bomb, but I'll go for number three. Number three. Lauren, your next question, please, to contestant number two. Number two. What would worry about you about going to a school reunion? Well, if my headmaster asked me to get up and sing the national anthem in my shorts. What? <laughs> Why would that worry you? Because I've got long legs. <laughs> number three. What would worry you about going to a school reunion? Ah, meeting all the people that you never wanted to see again. <laughs> Number one. Question, please, again. What Greg? would worry you about going to a school reunion? If they'd recognise my new head. <laughs> a new head? He's obviously, uh, obviously had his head changed. Um, Laurie. Greg, I'll go for contestant number three. <laughs> Contestant number three gets another match. Really, I really don't think Lauren knows why. Next question to number three, please. Contestant number three, what do you think of girls with freckles? Oh, my God. <laughs> girls with freckles. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on where they are. <laughs> but, but I do not like playing join the dot. <laughs> Number one, what do you think about girls with freckles? Well, having a few sun kisses myself, I'm rather fond of them. Number two. Well, I've got no objection in freckles. However, I don't like them on the chest. <laughs> Number two, just can't put his finger on it. <laughs> Laura. Well, I can't say I've got any freckles on my chest, so I'll go for number one. Contestant number one. Good, good. It's a match. Lauren. 
Look, time's up. One match with number one, two matches with number three. Ten seconds for you now, Lauren. Which of the barbershop trio are you? <laughs> Lauren, uh, which number would you like? Um, I don't know what he looks like, but number three sounds good. Cool. <laughs> number three has won the date with Lauren. Let me tell you about number one. This man is a coffee and tea merchant and he likes the theatre. This is Andy Forsyth. Sit down on the couch, Andy. Contestant number two is a draftsman. And, <laughs> and uh, I'd like you to meet Ivan Vistakosh. And contestant number three is your date down to the heartline. Lauren, you don't know what's behind the screen, do you? The no, moment you'll find out he's a truck driver, he collects pet rocks, he collects stamps, and he collects coins. Uh, Lauren Bryant, please meet Ross Thomas. <laughs> well, Ross and Lauren spent their first date in New Zealand, and things didn't quite go well at all. We spoke to Lauren, and she said, Ross was a pain in the neck and he still owes me $30 for photos. By the way, she's determined to collect, so watch out, Ross. Straight after this break, I'll be back with our very first wedding. Don't go away.